everybody, welcome to BIOS 3 Raw TV. We're here today with Rich Piano. We're doing the 5% photo video shoot out here in Los Angeles, California. And I wanted to touch base with Rich about something that I heard him say in one of his videos. And that was saying that you were trying to trim down now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you mentioned bigorexia. I have it, you have it, <laughs> and a yes. lot of you watching it right now have it. Yes. How long do you think that's been going on? Like since you were a teenager? Or? Oh yeah, it started, you know, it started... I mean, it's, it was the reverse because I, you know, I constantly wanted to be bigger my whole life. You know, it started with the He-Man dolls when I was six yeah, years old. Yeah, He-Man. Not the new kind, <laughs> the old kind. Like, yeah, That's where it started, you know. Then my mom took me to Gold's Gym, six, seven years old. And, you know, seeing the huge guys walking around and noticing back then all the girls were, you know, after those guys. And that's, that's they were driving the Corvettes. And I was like, you know, that was put in my head at six years old. So... I was fucked. I was going to be a bodybuilder. So it's how many years since that? I mean, like, literally since you decided, okay, I want to be as big as I possibly can. Yeah, it's, it's been my whole life, you know. And we look in the mirror and we look small, you know. And we see a picture of us and we're like, oh shit, you know. That's me. You're yeah, like, yeah. You're like, oh shit, I didn't realize I was that big. Is there any point in time right now where you look at yourself this size and you look in the mirror, you're like, fuck up, I need to gain ten more pounds, twenty more pounds. Yeah, it's, 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 you always feel that way. I think it's just, it's in us. You know, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's a disease, but it's an addiction. So it's always there. You know, when I used to compete, I'd be backstage. I'm sure you can relate. And you're pumping up and you're looking at the guy next Everybody to you. And you're like, fuck, that guy's bigger than me. I'm not. And then next thing you know, you see the pictures and you demolish the guy. You know, and the same thing at Expos. I'll take a picture with guys and I'll be like, you're like, oh my God, you're, you're huge. And you look so great. And in my head, I'm like, this motherfucker's bigger than me telling me how good I look. And then I see the picture and I'm like, oh, I am bigger than him. <laughs> now, what is it like now having to try to change? So for your whole life, you're going towards getting bigger. What is it like now trying to turn that around and say, now I need to trim down? Like it took my injury, my rotator cuff, mm -hmm. to be like, look, enough is enough. I can't yeah. do this anymore. My body's telling me to fuck off. I need to just calm down. I'm not going to carry the mass. And even like for the Olympia, I remember I told you, I was like, oh, I'm going to be at the 5%. But I got to get bigger. So I'm saying, he doesn't give a fuck how big I am. You know, this, it doesn't matter. You know, like it's all in our head. <laughs> yeah. So what is it like trying to turn around? Because I'm having a hard time doing it myself, honestly. Yeah. You know, like, you go down from a 2XL down to a large shirt. You're like, fuck. And then you see a picture of yourself, you're like, ah, I look okay. Like, look better with the shirt off. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Always look better naked. It's good to look naked, better yeah. naked than in clothes. Absolutely. That's yeah. what counts. Yeah, for sure. So, what is it, your thought process now of trying to turn around and go backwards and to try to. Turn it's, it's more difficult now than ever before because now I'm somewhat in the limelight. So, I feel like I need to portray that, you know, monster look. Right. And I really, honestly, I honestly don't necessarily like being as big as I am. You know, I would, I like being around 250, you know, I'm like 285 right now. Yeah. And I don't, I don't look at myself and think, wow, I look incredible. You know, when I'm like 250 and my waist is smaller, my face is leaner, that's when I know I look good. You know, so I know I look better, you know, it's just that psychological, you know, I get down and then you feel small and, you know, so it's, it's a battle. It's a lifetime battle, but also I'm 44, you know, there's health right. reasons, you know, I mean, you can't be big forever, you know, and. You know, this is the age where, you know, people start having problems. Right. You know, I can't be 285 and, you know, be in my 50s. Right. You know, it's, it's, I'm looking for a heart attack. You know? A guy like you, your genetics are to be big. I mean, so, like, you know, a lot of guys like me, my genetics are to be small. It's hard for me to fight to be big. Mm -hmm. You have to fight to come down yes. that way? Yeah, you do. So it's like, yeah. it's the opposite <laughs> battle that I have. I try to fight to be bigger. He's got to fight to be smaller. Yeah, I've been on zero carbs for three and a half weeks. How do you feel? And I feel good. My body works good, and that's how I come down. You know, but I don't come down as fast as, you know, I know bodybuilders that they take zero carbs for two days and lose 10 pounds, right. you know, and they feel small and flat. Yeah. <laughs> and First me, day, I know. do zero carbs for a week. I get on the scale and I haven't lost any weight. Really? Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I could be doing the step up for an hour a day. So obviously I'm not doing everything possible. You know, if I really, you know, I could be doing a lot more. Is that what it would take? It would take for you to be doing like almost like a contest prep to try to get down? Yeah. I mean, if I wanted to do it, yeah, there, so. it would happen quicker. You know, I'll be 260 probably in about a month and a half, two months. You know, I will be there where I want to be, but I could get there faster, you know, if I do incorporate cardio. Cool. Well, I appreciate it. I know a lot of people out there all the time are hitting me up. They're probably hitting you up too about how to get bigger, bigger, bigger. And then once you get there, you may not really like it. <laughs> you know, a lot of the guys that are big, like Cutler, Lavroni, all the Lavroni won't even eat. He'll eat like one meal a day because if he doesn't, he just grows. And yeah. he's like, I don't like to be at more than 200 pounds. You know, so I wish I had those genetics. So, all right, <laughs> thanks for your time, Rich. Thanks right, for having us out, brother. All right, for sure. Bio Street, and I approve this message. And it works.